So I want to explore the idea of One Punch Man and what it can teach us a little bit more. So the first part of video we talked about how One Punch Man and the series as a whole reflects that the humankind or people nowadays lack a sense of meaning and true purpose. This is the reason they are depressed all the time, they are bored all the time and there are so many mental illnesses and mental challenges that come along with it. For example, anxiety, sadness, loneliness, etc. So that is the first part. The second part is that there is a little deeper meaning, a more philosophical meaning of One Punch Man. One Punch Man shows a side of the world that is uh, not very obvious to the naked eye. There is an idea that in our head that once we can break out of the cycle that is holding us down and we uh, start to do something more amazing, something more meaningful, start to follow our passion, we think that we are always going to be happy. We think that the happy emotions, the joy, the positivity that comes with uh, following our passions or following our dreams is always going to come with us. We dream about a glorious life. We dream that, uh, you know, uh, one day I'm going to be successful right now I'm following my passion. One day I'm going to be the leader in this field. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to own a private jet. I'm going to be dating models. I'm, my life is going to be so amazing and so interesting. But in reality, that never happens. So if you look at One Punch Man, then he is a hero. He is most probably the most powerful character in that universe, in that space, in that comic book. So. You must imagine, for example, Avengers and uh, Justice League. So Avengers and Justice League, people are superheroes in those uh, movies or those series. They are living an amazing life, right? Uh, Tony Stark here is a billionaire, is like having a glorious, amazing, beautiful life. They have a, you know, proper place where the entire superhero team is collected and they call it the Avengers. Everybody knows them. Everybody looks up to them. Example, Justice League in Justice League. Uh, if you have seen the cartoons and if you have seen the movies, you would see how they have the Justice League Tower, which is like the International Space Station, but it is floating uh, in the space. So where all the Justice League members meet. But if you look at Saitama, just this one guy, just this one extremely strong dude, you would notice that he does not really have an amazing life. He does not really have a glorious life. Yes, he has defeated all the monsters. He is the most amazing person, the strongest person in the world. He can defeat anybody, anything in just one punch. But still, he is living his normal life. He has a normal flat. He has a normal bed. He goes to grocery shopping. He struggles with stuff like killing mosquitoes in his room. Nobody knows his name. He looks forward to when the supermarket sale is happening so that he can go there and buy stuff at a discount. Like, imagine you being the most powerful person in the entire world and having to go through all of these things nobody knows you you're just trying to do some right thing you're just trying to you know follow your passion follow your dreams of being a hero just like Saitama did right all Saitama wants is a little bit more fun a little bit more adventure in his life and he has clearly told that I am a hero for fun I'm not necessarily here to save the world or to change the world or to make the world better I'm just here for fun I'm just here for an adventure. I'm just here for the thrill of the game, the thrill of the fight. That's it, right? So the notion or the idea that once you start to follow your dreams, your life is somehow going to be completely different, right? If you get more healthy, if you start dating better women, if you start making more money, if you start uh, developing a bigger business, your life will somehow completely fundamentally change. You will experience different kind of emotions that you have never experienced before your life is going to be glorious you are going to go to all these amazing places all these amazing uh, you know you're going to meet all these amazing people all these amazing women you're going to be dating beautiful women you are going to be traveling you're going to be wearing amazing clothes everything is fine but the thrill and the fun of it is just going to last for a very short time see the thing is human life you can argue that human life is very short but you can also argue that hum human life is pretty decent and in those 80 90 years most of the time that you're going to spend on this planet Earth in this life, you're either going to be struggling or you're either going to be reaching somewhere or you're either going to be failing. Success or the happiness of success, the joy of winning something is only going to be temporary. 
For example, I have talked about this before and let me talk about this again. Uh, if a team wins a championship, let's say that uh, India wins the World Cup. For how many days do you think that the guys, like the team players, are very happy and really excited about this? I would guess, like just for like a couple of hours, that's it. Because they win the trophy, they go home, they sleep, and the next day they have interviews, they have to be places, they have to do advertisement, they have to talk to the leaders of different kind of, you know, areas. So even if they have won the World Cup, even if they have won a trophy, they are the number one team in the world, shouldn't they get a little bit more time to, you know, enjoy that? Should not they be a little bit more happier? So this is a fake dream or this is a facade, this is a mirage that we keep chasing. That if we start to live our, on our purpose, because the first eight part of this video is about finding your purpose, is about finding your passion, something that you are really passionate about, something that lights fire in your eyes, something that makes your heart go wild, right? But once you start to follow your purpose, you're not going to magically change into a completely new human being. Angels and fairies are not going to come like, you know, flying down and give you, give you gifts and give you new emotions, give you new feelings, make you feel happier all of a sudden. That is not just going to happen. That is most probably never going to happen. Most of the life that you're going to spend is going to be boring. Most of the days that you have lived, you're not going to remember those days. Like it's just the fact. We're going to remember some days where something extremely good or something extremely bad happened. But most of the days which are average will not be remembered by you because you have a certain mental capacity. You cannot remember everything. So if in life you feel that, you know, things are not happening like you see in the movies, then don't be scared, don't be sad because movies paint an unrealistic picture of reality onto you. That is not going to be your story. That is not going to be our story. We as people should not want that. We as people are never going to give, get a chance to live like a king. Even if we become a king, that happiness, that joy, that thrill is going to be very limited. It's going to be for a couple of days, that's it, couple of months maybe. But after that, the responsibilities, the power, the uh, obligations that come with that, they are going to wear you down. There is like, you know, really an amazing analogy that is very like recent uh, is that, you know, when Obama got into the office, like when he became the president of United States and became the leader of the free world, you can look at him and you can see that, okay, this is a man in his prime. This is a young person like 40, like in his 40s, right? He is healthy. He is well-spoken. He is energetic, he looks charming. But after like serving eight years, when he got out, you could see that he has aged like 30 years or 40 years. Like there was no joy in his face. There was no thrill in his eyes. There was no fire in his eyes. You might think that, but dude, he became the president of the United States. Should not he be happy? Like he really became, just like Saitama became the world's strongest person, he became the world's most powerful person as well, right? But the happiness is not going to last forever. So don't be scared. Don't be worried if you're not happy all the time. Life is supposed to be like this. Try to enjoy the subtle nuances. Try to enjoy the subtle ups and downs, you know, of life. Try to find joy and try to find meaning in small things. For example, making this video. For example, playing with your dogs. For example, spending an extra hour with your family or your friends. For example, uh, having to go out and not worry about work a lot. So plan your life in such a way that it has meaning and a purpose that you are always on some kind of mission that you are focused, right? But also understand that by doing that, you're not going to get magic. You're not going to become extremely happy or extremely different person. Your life is still going to be same. Mostly there are some things that are going to improve your life. For example, your day to day average mental state is going to go a little bit up. Your average income is going to go a little bit up. You are going to meet a little bit better people. You're going to be mentally or physically a little bit more healthier. Those things are going to happen. But that things combined, everything is going to make you like 5% or 10% more happy, not like 300% happy. So don't look for that extraordinary change of life. Enjoy the little changes, enjoy the little successes, learn from little failures, like take one step at a time. So I guess that will end this video. And yeah, I think I have discussed and I have explored this topic in depth. I hope it touched you. I hope you learned a lot from it. I really enjoyed making this video because again, this video is a very free flow for me. Like I 
uh, do not have to structure and think because this is something you know which I have faced and I have experienced in my life so most of the things that I am saying is like you can say those are my insights those are my experiences those are my thoughts those are my feelings so I hope this video uh, connected with you on some level if you really like this video then let me know what other movies or TV series or animes would you want me to make videos on in the future because there is a lot that we can explore and learn from any kind of movie or any kind of TV series or any kind, any kind of comic book character and as always you're watching Menoverse a conversation for men thank you so much for watching I'm gonna see you next time bye bye